That would be me. Look who we're hanging with. Jason David Frank. Boom shakalaka. Please do not change channel. Hello, World Wide Web. Welcome back to the Hanging With Web Show. I'm GW Pomisher. I'm Christian Basil. And we are here at uh, Tampa Bay. <laughs> We're here at Tampa Bay Comic Con. Yeah, it's been a long convention. It has been that been kind of day. Yeah. Uh, we are hanging out right now with Melanie Dean, an artist. Hello. She's an artist. She does art. art. I do art. That's it. We're done. <laughs> We're done. We're done. See, that was easy. That's a wrap. Melanie, thanks so much for hanging with us. Thank you, Bill. Thank How's you. your con going? So far, so good. It's yeah. actually really nice and busy. It's the first time I've been here at Tampa Bay Comic Con. Uh -huh. I've done Megos before. I've done, um, you know, just other ones just around Florida and whatnot. But yeah, this one's actually a really nice con. It is. Yeah. It is. Got, it, you know, what's great about this is it, it's it's in a growth phase right mm -hmm. now, so it still has that small con feel. Yeah. But you've got plenty of audience mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because it really is eighty thousand of your closest friends. Like it. Do any of them want art? Actually, yes. See that? Actually, yes. Because that's that's when you're an artist on an artist alley. That's kind of important. That, that, that somebody wants they art. Want art just tell us a little bit about your about the about your artwork. Uh, all my arts uh, acrylic on canvas. Okay. Uh, I try to bring original art here. Yeah. Um, if the originals aren't here, I also have prints. So that way people can kind of see, okay, if they see something like, like large, like larger than life, like I have a huge John Barrowman painting. Oh, like wow. This, by this, by this. Um, and it's signed by John Barrowman, who then, when I got him to sign it, decided to write Captain Jack Harkness on it. Um, so it's yeah. how I screamed and he screamed. Then we both actually just screamed like little girls because that's how, how Barrowman does. Because that's what John does. Barrowman does. That's what he does. That's, right. that's what he does. It's beautiful. And where he um, But when people kind of gravitate to that piece, they're like, oh, that's amazing. Da, 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 da. And they're like, but I don't have the wall space or money. And by the print so I can kind of keep selling prints of it which is very awesome. nice um, how long have you been working as a professional artist as a professional artist I will say to from 2003. So I used to ask how long people have been artists but then I realized that if you're an artist you were born that way somebody mm -hmm. hands you a crayon and it's over yes it's when when was the first time you sold a piece and well, then usually, realized, usually the way I afraid that is when did you call your parents and say, I'm going to be an artist? <laughs> I'm going to still... No, I can, you I can are. Still stick to That's right. Web doctor, She's, lawyer, or something. Until this show, she hadn't made that call yet. Yeah. No. We blew it. It's no. out of the bag now. No. They're going to find out now. I, see, I lucked out in that my first job, my first professional art job was at, in, tw in 2003. I was, a gra I was hired as a graphic artist. So I could say, yes, I'm a professional artist. This is how my mortgage is paid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, I had to worry about calling my mom saying, I'm going to write a book. And she was like, uh, I can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, but I, I did that first one. I said, hey, I, I've learned theater and I like being an actor. And that's when they were like, yeah, no, honey, you need to actually, <laughs> no, you, you're going to move out someday. Um, but no, I started off as a graphic artist, was an illustrator, and then I that's still that's moved that. Thank you. I moved that into marketing. So actually full-time job is I work as a marketing merchandiser. And then this is like my part time, and little by little, let's see if we can't transition Just to transition say over. goodbye, Bic. Thank you for the pension and everything, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and live the dream. What's your favorite subject matter? Sci-fi. Sci-fi. Mostly sci-fi. Sci it's gonna be Doctor Who. It's gonna be Torchwood. It's gonna have anything to do with time travel and honestly any type of science. So I'm I'm the geek that's watching the science uh, science channel. I'm watching NASA. If, there, if anything's going on with and SpaceX, you're just I for know that about it. Perfect visual, right? Yeah. You can find that perfect. This is what I can paint next week. Yes, exactly. I love painting. Um, if I'm not doing portraiture, I'm doing like science, like the not science. I'm doing the, science. Now, what's the good, right? longest Galaxy. piece? What, what, what what all, unless you're in an artist community, using the sentence "I'm doing science," you can't usually get away with it. But here. No. Yeah. We're doing science. We're doing, doing science. science. Now, what, what's the average time it takes for most of your pieces, and what's the longest? That's the longest one that you have. 
the longest one I think I've been working on, if I work on it, again, I have a full-time job, so mm -hmm. I have to kind of balance work-life, that fun yeah, stuff. Yeah, we know that fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Always I, fun. I can say the shortest time I've been able to knock one out is in 24 hours, and that was because I had a commission for a David Tennant, Billy Piper piece. And I was at a mega con. Yeah. Oh, okay. Girl saw one of my pieces, loved the, the the tenth doctor. She said, "I need that for tomorrow." I went, okay. How much? And I'm like, I don't know if I can. I'll pay you this much. Okay. I'll be done. I'll, I'll be, be done. done. Yeah, uh, that night was full of just me drinking sake and just just like drawing like crazy. Enough sake um, and everything looks good. Of course. Yes. That's right. <laughs> That's what I did. That's, and it, it actually came out good too. So she's happy about that. So okay. Other than Barman, your favorite piece. That you've, that you've done. Best piece with And we're me. talking about the paintings, not, not Barrowman as a piece. Uh, um, <laughs> you know what? I was wrong because that could have been taken that way <laughs> on the internet. I anybody to, who I follows John Barrowman knows. And it's my friend Melanie. It's, so. That's right. Um, your favorite say, piece. <laughs> we went way honestly, over here. Honestly, it's a, it's a portrait of Albert Einstein smiling. Oh, yeah. 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 I actually yeah. just sold that one at San Diego Comic-Con. I was able, I was fortunate enough to get into the art show at San Diego, and I had just sold that one over there. Wow. That's Two weeks amazing. Ago. Uh, I would ask then, what is the pinnacle moment for con life, but San Diego, you've been that to the big it. show. Yes. That's right. That's, that's like yeah. the World Series of con going. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's, it's it the is, Super Bowl. That's right. You're at the Super Bowl. And you're selling art, mm -hmm. and you just and you sold that piece. Yep, sold so that that's one there. amazing. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank yes. you so much. You know there are moments on an artist's journey that stand out. That will stand out. That, that stands out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that first big piece that you sell at the big show. Yes. And you know so now 24 hours to do a commission. Yes, that was the. Uh, so one. what is the strangest or oddest commission that you've ever been asked to, to do? Somebody just came up to the booth and said, "Can you do this?" And you went, um, "Barrowman's piece." <laughs> I've had I have had things where people have asked that, that I've turned down, that I've had to turn down because it involved furries and other oh, okay. very of adult nature, and I went, "No." You see, you don't hear that sentence every day. I went, "No." I she actually seemed. have. So <laughs> and you know, we, we have to tell you, artists have pretty open I've heard minds. The furry so for story. artists to tell you, "No." You've been asking for something way over I don't the top. need to know that much about a shark's anatomy. I really don't. Not when you're trying to explain to me what you want. No. Nope. Yeah. I was like, I don't think I can I can give you what you want. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll this defer will you. Be, this just... will be an episode of Hanging with After Dark. That's right. Hanging with After Dark. Uh, wow. So A shark's anatomy for Shark nice. Week. You I'll, let you, I'll let you Google what that meant. There you go. You can find out more about that. Oh, wow. Google wow. We've just blown up Google. We just blew up Google. Oh, shark and that. So, yeah. wow. Thank you. That you're you're wonderful um, all the extra hits. So, you know, artists have, uh, you, you like to work in acrylic on canvas? Yes, I like okay. acrylic mostly. Do you have a particular uh, color scheme or do you like dark colors? Are you, you know, what, what kind of... Uh, I like it really in a more of a graphic kind of, think like more Warhol in that you think of a color palette that's five or six colors. And, and then make it a really kind of stark kind of co contrast. contrast yeah, yeah, so like think his Campbell soup kind of line or the Marilyn like Monroe pop line. Art, Very of. pop art. Yeah, yeah I, like, I, I really like that. There's a lot of challenges that you can find either like on Tumblr or just anywhere else on just online that a lot of, to help push other artists, they'll give you a palette challenge. And you can find different color palettes that are just here's six colors create something. Here's six wow. colors to create something. So I'll, te I'll tend to go onto those challenges and find the weirdest kind of six well, colors, is. but work and go, all right, you know what? I'm going to do that portrait in those colors. Especially today uh, when you're doing, uh, uh, you know, we always refer to paintings and things like that as the storytelling on canvas. Mm -hmm. When you're telling a story now in, in today's world, which is hyper-realism, mm -hmm. um, there's, there, everybody uses the, forget about 256 colors anymore. Everybody's using the entire arrangement of computer mm -hmm. colors and everything else. So to take five or six colors and be able to create your story mm -hmm. is a challenge. Yeah, and, yeah. and to make it, for me, I love making it hyper-realistic. So it still looks extremely realistic, but using a uh, just a limited. strange, a limited palette, mm -hmm. but also a very just stark palette. Like I did, um, like I have hanging here, is uh, the cast from Psych. I did each of the, the four, the main characters. Uh -huh. and, I, and it was called the Skittles palette. So it's all the five colors of the rainbow, 
of the of the grape skittle, the, the, the strawberry, the cherry, the colors, of yeah. those colors. And I used all those five to create these massive portraits. Roy G. And, Boo. And what, what scale do you normally Boo. like to work on? Uh, 20 by 20. 20, I, by 20. I like really big, big um, but I've noticed the smaller ones, you can paint faster. And they'll, they'll, you can turn them around a little faster. People will buy those because they can find the art, the, this wall space. So it's kind of like it is. Yeah. You know, we 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 sort of consolidated our lives mm -hmm. into small spaces now, apartment exactly. living, etc. So it's it's really hard to find those giant walls. Yeah. You know. So, um, so where are you going to be next? What's coming up down the pike for you? Uh, next one's going to be actually Tampa, uh, MegaCon Tampa Bay. Uh -huh. So I'll be just back. Just a couple here. months. Just a couple months. Um, the funny thing is, you think of it like from it's once in August, once in September, but thank God it's the beginning of August and the very end of September. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah. more like two months. Give you a little time, but sometimes you need to decompress between shows. Yeah. yeah. You know, as as Christian has often said online, hashtag con life. This is a constant. <laughs> it's a constant go. Yeah. It's a grind. And, and so you need that time so, to paint and create. Yep. Between shows. And it, it's really because people have to budget stuff, take time out because. They got to get the hotels. They got to get the tickets. Mm -hmm. They got to get the parking. And there's two cons, right? So it's like planning for Disney and Universal within a month of each other, and you you're out of town. It's it just you know it's hard on. It's just uh, hard when on. You come to, yeah. When you come to a convention, you're surrounded by other artists mm -hmm. and by uh, fans and aficionados of the subject matter that you're working in, um, which makes for some great fun stories. Most interesting con moment. Off the top of your head, it doesn't involve oh. furries and sharks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> doesn't even have to look at that. Um, or can you tell oh. this story in public? <laughs> Do we have no, to no, put the most, honestly, I think the most on it. interesting con story would, would, would kind of come from that one 24 hour commission. Yeah. And it ended up being the woman who did it. It was it was the scene from, it was Doctor Who, it was the, the 10 in rows, the wall, and then kind of oh, on the yeah, other side of the yeah. wall. So I painted that. I didn't want him in like uh, warm gray and her in cold gray. She ended up, the woman ended up getting back here in time to grab it, get in line. She got it signed and she has photos of them and, and video wow. of their reactions to the painting. Wow. And they were so insanely complimentary and just blown away by the art and that I had done it so quickly. So that's two that for her. That made me go. That's amazing. And like even Tenet had said something and when she said, when she told her, I commissioned it yesterday and she, he looked at her like, is she awake? I was like, okay, this has made my life. No, she understood the depth of wow. this. She's got no, an IV of sake going you know, in it her. Is, it's, it's, it's one thing to be appreciated by the art enthusiast and the lover of your work. Mm -hmm. um, it's quite another thing to have the subject of your exactly, work. Exactly, the subject matter to, know, go, when, to look because, at that. You know, go, a lot of me. artists will choose, especially in, in our community, a lot of artists will choose fictional characters, mm -hmm. um, from a, from a cartoon or a comic or another piece of art. Yeah. Um, when you take an actual human being that exists in the world somewhere and you do fan art for them, mm -hmm. um, and to have them look at it and, like John Berman and say, I'll sign this and I'll do this, and then to have them say, wow, 24 hours she look at my likeness. Yeah. That's a cool feeling. Absolutely. It's a really good moment as an way. artist. We have to go, so, uh, wow, that was the fastest 10 minutes I think we've done all day long. Because we could just oh, keep You're talking about the show, right? That's uh, not something else. <laughs> and there she goes. Nice. All right. As we wrap it up, folks, we want to say thank you to our partners and our friends at Some Unique Magazine, Space Coast Comics, Embellish Effects in Orlando, Pound the Grape, Off the Chain with author Yvonne Mason, and our very first uh, partner Cosplay shop. Cosplay shop. And our, yes, uh, Embellish Effects. And Famous Faces and Funnies, Rick Shea and the team over there. Wow. I love it that that list is getting so long. Yeah. We're going to need three of us to do the list pretty soon. <laughs> it's awesome. We'll just Guys, have running credits. Remember to subscribe. We're going to put links down below so you can find artist Melanie Dean online. Remember, log on, tune in, and see who we're hanging with next. <laughs>